Hi, I'm Cindy from Grade 10 St. Catherine of Alexandria. And for today, we're going to be cooking pinak bet. And apron. The ingredients that I'm going to use are half squash, two eggplants, one ampalaya, seven string beans, one onion, three cloves of garlic, one spoon of soy sauce, one half spoon of oyster sauce, pinch of salt, a spoonful of oil, two cherry tomatoes, two spring onion leaves, and chicken. The garlic, onion, eggplant, ampalaya, string beans, squash, and chicken. Now let's prepare. After washing the ingredients, I'm going to slice and chop all of the vegetables. Now that we're finished, let's get cooking. Now let's cook. First, we're going to heat up our pot. Then add the oil. When the oil is hot now, then add the garlic. And stir it a little bit. Then add the onion. Then add the chicken and stir it until it is cooked. Add some soy sauce. Add some oyster sauce. After the chicken is cooked, add the vegetables. Add a squash. The string beans, the ampalaya, and lastly the eggplant. Now let's combine all of the vegetables. Wait for the vegetable to cook at about 7 to 8 minutes. Now that our vegetable soup is cooked, 
Let's proceed to our garnish. Now, let's proceed to our garnishes. So, our ingredients is cherry tomatoes, spring onion leaves. First, I'm going to slice in half the cherry tomatoes. Now, I'm going to slice the spring onion leaves into smaller bits. And slice the part in the middle and to make it look like a tree, as same as before. Now I'm going to transfer the peanut bed in my plate. For our garnishes, I'm gonna put the spring onion leaves and surround it with the cherry tomatoes. It's okay to eat the cherry tomatoes raw because it's Everybody does it here. And put the spring onion leaves that we chopped earlier on top of it. Now that we're done, this is the final output of my pinak pet. Um, it is a fun and informative experience because here it is always my parents cooking um, it is a good opportunity to cook by myself as I cook and prepare um, I learned a lot um, this experience it is very useful in the future the importance of having a hands-on experience is that when cooking by yourself you got to know how to do it in an accurate way and you can correct all of your bad habits in preparing and cooking.